So you're probably thinking, how do I actually get like near world on this device? I know right now we're watching one of my wrist streams from yesterday, but still, how can I play near world on a device like this? It's actually quite easy and I'm going to take you through how to do that by step by step. And you can also find the steps in the bottom of the video in the description where you can see each of the timestamps for each step. So let's go directly to it. First step. First step is how, well, basically you have to connect a controller. So you need a controller, it will connect it to the device. So if it's a Apple TV, Samsung TV, Android phones, iOS phone, whatever it is, the tablet, you, you, you have basically to connect it here. You can see Xbox wireless controller and it says tensluted, but it means like, um, uh, you know, uh, connected in, in, in English. So that is step one. Step two, two, you have to get the application called Steam Link. So basically Steam Link is allowing you to play games you have on your Steam library down on your devices. You can use, and again, this app can be downloaded to Apple TV, Samsung TV. Uh, you can download to like, yeah, any Android device or iOS device. So in this case, you can see I've downloaded it. It's down, it's now mine. So that's the step two, get Steam Link. So the third step, it will basic first step is when you open up Steam Link, first of all, it will it will tell you if the control is connected, then you have to like connect your uh, desktop, like the PC, you need to have a PC running with Steam open. I know that's, you're probably thinking, oh my God, that's a bomb, I didn't know that. Oh, well, I don't have a PC, so I just want to play the game on my, my mobile. You can do that. You need basically a PC like this, running Steam in the background. That's all, just have a PC running Steam in the background, boom. And then, you know, like, boom. I have currently only tested this while I'm on the same network. Like, so this PC, this iPad is all on the same network. I haven't actually tested if this works on different networks, but we can test that later. So, but right now this one and this one is connected to the same network. So I'm now going to click on my controller and say, start streaming. It will now open up, well, what's called the big picture on Steam on my PC and on the iPad here. It's like basically mirroring and I, I can like, you can see, I can use this use the control here and like click around. So cool. So like, yeah, click around, boom, boom, boom. So basically you have to go to the right side here and say, don't only show remote play optimized. Of course, those games are like 100% remote supporting. Um, the thing is, near world is not working. It's working okay with controller, like it's okay. It's okay for farming and stuff like that, but okay. So now you can see I have new world here. I can click okay on it and I can click play. Pretty cool. So first of all, you need to like uh, click on this continue button, which is a problem because it's not really responding. So what you have to do is you have to hold down um, this key here. Then it will open up like a menu where you can say change to mouse mode. Then you can see now I can control the mouse with my controller, basically highlight on it and click R2. Then we are inside the game, which is pretty cool. Still, I'm playing on the iPad, but you can see the mouse is like moving on both screens. So basically if I go down here and say, okay, R2, then we have my character and then click play. Now it's very important for you to go back into that setting again and disable mouse settings because if you don't do that it's going to go crazy in the game so basically click back to controller setting now you have controller and there you go i am literally playing near world with my controller now on my ipad i know it's it looks really bad on the, the phone that's basically just how it looks when you record it in another screen but still i can run around look around i can attack i can parry i can dodge I can use my spells, so like, boom, boom, using all my free spells. I can open up my inventory and, you know, like, like click on, you can see, like, I can use my mouse on it, like click on each of the items. Whoops. <laughs> I basically picked that too off my helmet. <laughs> Take it on. And then I can click on the, my R2 again. And like, you know, choose what do you want? Do you want to like repair? What do you want? But there's a thing, there's a thing I haven't told you because when you defaultly open up Near World, it's not gonna work as smooth as my gameplay experience. 
you basically have to um, what's it called you, you have to like apply a profile because if we go um, I don't know how you do that like you can see yeah, you have something called let's go to the other screen you have something called um, controller configuration and in here you can see here you can control and bind all your things like what do you want to do on all your buttons and what I recommend is go down here and see this one called browse config basically go into that browse config um, then you can see recommended uh, community there we go community so community and here you can see boom here we can see um, there is two profiles one which has 18 votes 16 4 so that means I can basically click on the, that ginger prime and now it says preview it's like showing it then I can click on apply there we go and now I'm actually using the profile this guy have made and that means all my keys are already bound I have my spells I you know like everything is bound I can use open up my inventory I can open up my map and you know like do step different stem even like switch tap it's 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 pretty amazing like it, it's actually pretty cool and of course you can also you can also um, change the key bindings by just going in like in my case I had to click on the Xbox key here that Xbox key and then basically I had to go to controller configurations and then you can choose everything in here and again you can go in and change all these options. There's like thousands of options you can go in and change. But if you don't want to really change all that, you just want to play the game, like just go on. Again, browse config, and then pick one of the most popular configs, and it's gonna be all right. So basically now I can just go into my couch, sofa, I can go up in bed, and I can just like run around and grind new world. Isn't that cool? So, I mean, that's that's basically it. If you want to play like Neo World on your mobile, iPad, whatever you want, of course, you have to use one of these controllers. Uh, it can be any controller. I've only tried the Xbox controller, but still, if you want to do that, it's easy. Like, you know, get a device. Well, of course, that's in the option. But, you know, get a controller, connect it with Bluetooth, download Steam Link, log into Steam Link, Boom, you, you, up, you up and go. You probably thought like, wow, I didn't know this game had controller support. Well, no, it's not really a thing that I've been talking about like a lot, but you know, it has, so it's pretty cool. So thanks for watching everyone. It was a pleasure making this video. Um, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it a lot. I'm like, a, whenever I'm gonna like, nah, I don't know. I don't wanna be on my PC. I just wanna go into my couch or my sofa, like lie down and play near old on my big ass TV. I'm gonna do that. And I mean, there's like two options. You can either like drag a HDMI cable from your PC to your to your TV. That's probably gonna have the best look, like most resolution and frame rates and all that. You know, it's gonna probably be the best option. Um, but if you don't like to have a long HDMI ca cable and maybe the PC is gonna be too far away so the controller cannot like connect to it, um, then of course you have Steam Link, which is going to again, then give you the option to play it no matter where you are in the house. You can basically go to another room, wherever you want, play it on your mobile while you're sitting on the toilet um, and so on. Still, I have only tested this on where I'm actually on the same network. I'm not sure how Steam Link works if I'm not home and it's all over 4G. I um, haven't actually tried that, but you could probably try it. I mean, it's easy for you to try. It's just to, like go on a different network, don't go on the same network and boom, try it out. I'm probably gonna do it when I end this video, like try it out. But yeah, but now I gave you out the idea how this actually works. So thanks for watching. Have a nice evening, everyone, and the world. See you in another New World video. Bye.